Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy Pixel unboxing. And today we have East 9 Monstrum Knox from NIS America and Falcom. Let's just get this guy open, you know? No reason leaving them all cooped up in this plastic. So the box does have a slip cover. It feels like a plastic slip cover. Has some nice designs along the sides here. And it allows you to kind of see in, peer into the box. So let's just get this off of here. And you have the box and some nice key art. Look at this. This is a good one. This is a good one. I'm not sure if it's the key art or the waifus, but it's nice. The box is a cardboard box. I kind of like when NIS does this. It's it just stays together. You're moving around a lot. The insides. There we go. It seems to be it's missing something that should have gone there, but there's nothing in there. So let's just see what we got off the top here. A little figure, little Adol Kristen. Let's get him open. OK, well, I always love when people do this. Lots of the times you get these little chibi figures and you have to put together their legs and their heads and put them on the stand and I end up breaking something. But this guy, he's ready for the adventure right out of the box. Sword in hand. Nice little ponytail. Been growing out the luscious locks. Fairly detailed. Looks good. Moving on. We have guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what's in this box, so we're learning this together. Looks like this is a book, a novella, as it were. You get to hang out with Adel in this nice little adventure, self-contained across 78 pages, even has an epilogue. This probably will tell you what Adel was doing before the game and all you East nerds would most likely love this. Corner here is a little bent, but I'm not very picky. Moving on. This is where things get a little more fancy. It smells like uh, leather. I'm not sure if it is, but it says warning. This book contains spoilers. So if you're one to, to care about those spoilers, I heard that the names are spoilers of some of the characters. Here's nice key art of all the characters. I'm not trying to spoil anything for you guys. I don't know. Just a lot of characters there for you. And then prison key art in the back here. I will let you know that there is. It doesn't. It just seems like this is all character. This is all just characters. No scenes at the beach or anything. Nothing to uh, bust out with all your Falcom friends and. Uh, drool over together. I don't know what you guys do. Oh no, you Falcom guys, you get together and you argue about the, the timeline, the lore. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Don't try to deny it. No, during this time, Adol was here. We all know he wasn't. We got a soundtrack with 15 tracks. The greatest hits. Bar Dandelion, in quotations. Waltz for Grace. The Cave of Groan. Personally, I haven't been to the Cave of Groan in a while. <laughs> I could use track eight. Do you want me to open this? OK, I usually don't open these soundtracks. But considering I don't want to get yelled at by Falcom nerds, we're going to uh, nothing much to it. This is just a uh, little slip clever. Got the characters on the back. Nothing too cool. I'm sure it'll go in all of your uh, cars. Then we have some art cards here. Um, I'm not sure if these have spoilers in them, but I don't care. Oh, it's like the uh, One Piece thing where they're all wanted posters. That's cute as their reward. I don't know if this is in the game. I personally haven't played it. I don't know when I will play it, but at least I know they're wanted for something. Wonder what they did. This 
actually I didn't know that was in here, but this is really cool. We have these little uh, keychains. Balduke's Most Wanted keychain set. They're those rubber stamp ones. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I approve. These are quality. This quality. All right. And guys, we're coming up to the game. And it's the packed edition. I have no idea what that means, but you know what time it is. We're going to jump inside this guy and uh, see if he has a manual. It's a little heavy. I, I feel like I feel like there could be one in here, but I've been duped before. So moment of truth. What do we have here? Trying to sell me a bag, trying to sell me the limited edition that we're unboxing right now. Come on, Nisa. Guys, there is a manual in here, but it seems to be just a smaller version of the art book with all the characters in it. And actually, it has better versions of the key art. This was not in the book. So that's cool. And then we have a CD sampler, for more songs and the game behind here. We got a reversible key art, which I think, which I think looks better. So I'm going to turn it around. Clearly, I think these always look better. So there we go. Roll call? Let's do it. We got box. We got slipcover. We got maybe leather book with. Oh, I was wrong. The pages were sticking in the back, but there are key art pages even more. So I take back what I said. You get more here. But still, no bathing suit scenes. Three out of ten. Moving on. Arguably the coolest thing in the limited edition. The keychains. I think this is worth it all together. I think this made it worth it for me. This is great. We got soundtrack. We got novella for you to uh, brush up on your ease knowledge and bring it to the forums and we have this little guy we have one piece art cards nice stock and we have the game with this book soundtrack sampler and the video game all in all guys I think that was a pretty cool limited edition didn't have a plush and I would have liked a little plushy, but I believe they have something on the site for that. I might end up uh, dipping into that just because I like I like the plushies now. As you grow older, you start wanting a bunch of little stuff and just want one big thing, you know? Um, please check out our review on the site. It wasn't by me, it was by another staff writer. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.